Welcome back to part three as we continue our adventure fishing on Big Cat Reality. We are exploring the Swain Reefs, a national park that is within the Great Barrier Reef, located about 200 nautical miles northeast of Bundaberg, Queensland. Got it. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. So far, Ken has knocked six of the ten lures off the Zerik lure challenge. If Ken catches four respectable fish on each of the remaining lures, he will take home $5,000 worth of gear from Wilson Australia and $2,000 from addicttackle.com.au. Oh, he's given one! Giving one. Right. Hey. How pretty is that? Well done. Thank Lovely you. fish. Oh! oh. On a pilchard! <laughs> On a pilchard! Oh my goodness me. You might want to start that motor and chase it, boys. Yeah. Holy smokes. So our good friend Sammy Hinsky's on that green boat over there and he is bottom fishing for all sorts of different things and a massive sailfish has eaten. Did you, were you fishing with a pilchard? He can't even talk. Bucktail. Bucktail jig with a pilchard on it has been eaten by a sailfish. That is ridiculous. Oh my goodness me. Today, I think anything is possible. Ah! <laughs> no. no. Unfortunately, that sailfish is just the hooks just popped. But it just feels like one of those days where anything is possible. A bucktail jig with a pilchard just hooked a massive sailfish. I've seen it all now, I tell you. Oh, he's on. Oh, no, he's not. Yes, he is. Beat the sharks. Beat the sharks. Beat the sharks. Beat the sharks. Oh, nice blue bone. Oh, that is a gorgeous fish. Bring it in quick. Look at he's just pooed everything out. That's what they normally do. That's a good Venus tough fish. Yeah, it is. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh, look, that is a good fish, man. Look at him. Beautiful. What do you say, boss? Hey, I'm giving him that one. Yes! Oh, and as you speak, bang you into a fish. Mate, well done, that's another one. There's that no, bucktail. Really? Ew! <laughs> that's sweet fish. Well, mate, out of the 10 Zeric lures, you've now caught fish, like quality fish, respectable fish, on seven of them. Seven. You have three to go. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Having a good time? Awesome time. Yeah, it's crazy. That is crazy. We can keep doing this sort of stuff, but the lures that we've got are trolling lures, and then there's one casting lure as well, just a smaller minnow. But just before we go back for lunch, and I'm just putting it to you, would you like to go maybe try and chase a GT or two? Hell yeah. Stupid question, really. That would be so good. <laughs> because as that tide's coming off that reef, I'm watching bust ups as we speak, so it might be an idea just to maximise the time we've got and uh, see if we can get a horse, hey? Horse it up. Horse it up. I love it. All right, let's pack up. Saddle up, baby. Yeah. Be better. <laughs> you ready? I'm ready. Now, as much as this doesn't count towards the challenge, he doesn't care. So, what do you want to go do? Oh, I want to catch another GT. All right, so here we are. Chasing GTs again, if we have to. <laughs> oh, oh, GT, big one. Oh. Fish on? Hey, buddy. Buddy. Trying to get me. Hold on. I'm slowly pull him out. 
might have to come to the back of the boat. Yeah, you're right. Just turn on the boat. Yeah. Oh, big fish. Yeah. It's a big fish. Well, he lead him out. He didn't look that big. No. Uh, he's pretty big. Oh, uh, he's decent. No, actually. I think Ken's oh. getting soft in his old age. That was sweet. <laughs> that was a good ass. Yeah. Another dog on the deck. You gonna send him home? Send him home. Alright. Over the side he goes. See you, mate. Choo. Bloody big trout country this. Got him? Got him, get him out of there! Relax, bro. <laughs> He's coming as hard as... This <laughs> bike's an animal, honestly. Red bass! Yeah, those things are wicked. Yeah, they're cool fish. That's sick. All right, well done, now get out of my way. Oh, jeez Louise. Yeah, that lure hanging out of his mouth. Oh. What is that big trout? Massive trout. Oh no! Oh. He's up. He's up. Yeah, I think so. Oh! Oh, oh no, it's a red bass. A really big red bass. Holy smokes. Oh. Do you mind? Look at the size of that one. Oh my lord, look at the size of that bass. Right. Oh, doubles on red bass. Cool fish. Mine could just about eat yours. That's okay. <laughs> All right, mate. Send yours home first. One, nice shower. And two, another shower. Woo! What a weapon. That was awesome. Oh, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Kind of looked like it was. Yeah. Oh, big Spaniard! Oh, fully airborne! That was awesome! You got it? Oh, He's a beast, that was uh, crazy! Well done, Will. Got it on slow-mo camera. Oh, nice Spanish mackerel come flying through and smash that popper. Airborne. I just hope he's got the end hook. I don't want to lose that lure. I'll just try and tail him. Ah, yeah, I reckon you'll be right. He's no monster, mate. <laughs> He's having a go unless he's got a shark on him. Here he comes. Come on, buddy. Oh, yeah, nice Spaniard. Yep, about that 10, 10 kilo mark, I'd say. Just hooked in the lip. All right, here we go. Oh, hello. Okay. Hey, what are you calling that one for? Oh, about 18. Maybe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Maybe a bit more. I thought maybe 10 to 12, stick our rankings 18. Either way. Oh, oh, good feed. <laughs> You're dead pulling it over the side. What a way to finish the day. Oh my god, this trip, honestly, one of the best trips I've ever done. Have a look at the website, it's on the screen right now bigcatreality.com. Check these guys out. Bit of a plug for them, of course, because they're looking after us. And the great thing about this is at first, I wasn't sure about the no guide situation, but we've come out here 
And we've done this ourselves and it has been very, very rewarding. And this fish is coming home. We're going to eat this fish, get the lure out there and get him on ice, I'd say. Oh, up we go. Oh, Dicko, I think it's bigger than I thought, mate. Yeah, just a little curve. Wow, that's a good sized mackerel. Look at the teeth on that, folks. It is so, so important that when you target this fish, you are so wary of those teeth because they will literally cut you to the bone. They're just going to brush past you in the boat. And most of us have got bare feet or thongs or whatever. They will drill you. What a fish. Look at the slabs of meat on that guy. I think Chef might like to have some fresh mackerel fillets. What do you reckon? Yeah, mate, for sure. The reality of this fish, he's tired, he's done. He won't like live if we try and release him, so he can come back on ice. Cool fish. Thanks, Dicko. No worries, mate. Cheers, mate. It's the morning of day four, and we've got Dicko, Ken, and the crew back out on the water to fight something. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. How many have we got left, mate? Uh, three. Three Zeric lures, two of which are trolling lures. And we're hoping we're going to find a big Spaniard, or a doggy, or a wahoo, or something. Something that Dicko approves, at least. Be nice, all right? Yeah. A little bit windier today, but that's okay. 10 to 15s, we've been spoilt with virtually fives. We can handle a little bit of wind and hopefully we can find some fish. Should be a great day. Yeah, you can probably nudge that drag a smidgen now. Just, it's just when you're dropping that rod tip, bro, just really wind as you drop, hey. I think it's coming towards us. What do you got, man? What do you got? What is it? The anticipation. It's killing us. It is a little dog tooth tuna. It's a baby doggy. A big one of them would be good. There you go. Okay. I reckon we can do bigger than that. Yeah. I concur. Bigger. On the speed donkey. All right. Hey guys, if you want to support Fishing Addiction, become a member today. Uh, we really try and make dreams come true on this show and uh, with all your support, we, uh, we can do it. But the more members we have, the more trips we can do, the bigger prizes we can give away. So become part of the crew today. Sign up at fishingaddiction.com.au. Uh, and you never know, it could be your door that I come knocking on next. Yeah, that's the perfect doggy drop off. Oh, try fish on! Big fish! Go, Ken! Nice and smooth. Nice and okay. So, as part of the challenge, he needs to get a fish on all the Zeric lures that we brought up. There were 10 lures in total. He's got three to go, and this is one of them. This is a deep diving lure. Yeah, it's a reasonable fish. It looks like a tuna. Alright. Uh, there's no leader, thanks for that. Don't lift him out of the water. That's another way of getting him in. Oh. In actual fact, I think that's actually a northern bluefin tuna. Yeah, it's got little yellow fins, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a northern blue. Yeah, there you go. Well, on this lure, I'm just going to ask Dicko the question, is it a respectable fish? Hey, you know what? Really? Yeah? Come on. Yeah, I'm going to give it to him. Oh, yes. You never know what this guy's going to say. <laughs> Ew. It is a yellow fish. Well done, Ken. That's the eighth lure off the Zeric Lure Challenge. All that remains now is the Speed Donkey and the Kavala. Pop the old uh, Kabbalah cherry now. That's right. 
the Kabala cherry on on a different species. Oh, long tongue. <laughs> It is too, long tongue. They're hard to stay connected to. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's not. A, it's a little what weenie or something. A little mackerel? That's all right. Queenie, little queenie. There you go, oceanic queenfish. Look at that blue tail. That is beautiful. Look how long and skinny they are. That's a cool little fish. Cool. Nice little fish. Oh, hang on, that's on the Kabala. Dicko, what's your call, mate? What's your call? No. No. Not on a queenie like that. It's got to be like a big queenie, it's yeah? It's pretty cool. They're a bit different to the usual queenies, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're but more slim. You can already see the lactic acid building up in him. Let's get the hooks out, get him back in the water. Convincing a respectable fish to eat this particular lure just seemed a bit too challenging for Ken at this point in time. With the tide bottoming out, we had a quick refresher on Big Cat, spotted some whales, then got straight back out there to try and tick the Kavala off the list. Oh, yep, first cast, monkey boy. Thank you. Get him up. This is the lure that has served the most problem. It looks like a coal trout. And it is exactly that. Bring it around. And it's undersized. Oh, sweet. We still caught one. Yeah, no. I'm On that lure. Yeah. On that lure. It's my nemesis. <laughs> That's the thing about lures. You get some people say, oh, that lure doesn't work. And then someone else thinks it's their favorite because they use it differently. So we're going to release this guy straight over the side, nice and easy. As soon as I turn that hook up, he'll flip off and back down to the depths. All right, you got the rhythm. Got the rhythm. You just need a bigger one. Yeah, I got to get the big right. dogs. Come on, man. Two to go. Whew. Well, in all honesty, today's the day I wouldn't mind getting back. We worked hard and we were not rewarded, unfortunately. But look at that. What a sight. Big cat in the background, just there in the sunset, perfect silhouette, and I can smell the food and the cold beverages. Let's go back. There's just so much going on around here. There could be bird life one minute, fish just smashing bait fish on the corners, pressure points and stuff. I'm learning heaps while I'm up here, it's pretty cool. Uh, learning to use different lures and um, just hanging out and relaxing, which has been sweet. It's a new day and Ken has already got a lure in the water. That's the beauty of fishing with Big Cat Reality. No matter where you are, be it the mothership or the dories, chances are you're gonna find fish. Well, we haven't even left the mothership yet. We'll just stay here. Ken still has two lures to tick off the list and Dicko is on the hunt to try and find some respectable fish. Hopefully, this is one of them. Oh, he's on. Kavala? <laughs> no, Kavala? Nah. Speedy. Speed donkey. Speed donkey, all right. Okay, that's all right, you're in. Oh, head thumps on a speed donkey. What could that be? With a head thumps like that, that's crazy. Hey, right, hopefully this is respectable. What is that? What is that? This... Do oh, it's Spanish. a mackerel. It's yeah, a head, little Spaniard. Thank you. All right, should be able to lift him in, guys. Leader has been touched. Oh, a nice Spaniard. Okay, in he comes. Oh, yeah. There you go. We weren't even moving. Oh, no, how good is that? Started Spaniard. cranking it in. All right, hang on. Let me just ask the question back here. <laughs> what do you reckon, Dicko? Yes! He's counting it. It's a miracle! It is a miracle. That's not a bad <laughs> Spaniard, that's a good fish. Sweet. Lovely fish, and the speed donkey has come up trumps and you've caught a lovely mackerel. 
Nice. One to go. Yeah. One lure to go. Seven it. grand's worth of gear up for grabs, mate. Ooh. That'd be oh, nice. 5,000 bucks worth of gear from Wilson and a couple from Attic Tackle. I mean, I know it's been hard, that other lure, but I reckon you're going to do it. Mate, this is it. You've got nine out of the ten. This is the last one. It's a Zeric Kavala. A little bit heavier, great to cast. Up here on the flats, I reckon you're going to brain either a nice trevally of some sort or maybe a coral trout. And of course, then you win big time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Be the cherry on top, wouldn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. All right, well, we're not going to catch one talking. Let's get it in the water. Good luck, mate. One to go. Yeah. That's a trout. Oh, it's a red throat. Is it? Oh, yeah, it is too. Oh. Yeah! yeah! And that a trout for good sick. measure. How good is that? That is cool. All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's slow things down a little bit right now. Oh, look at that. Let's just check him out. On the Kavala, one Ew. hook in his lip on the flats. So good. This is it. Let's ask Dicko. Dicko, this is the fish. This is the last fish he needs to get. Is it respectable? Does it count? It's a go, mate. Oh my gosh! That's unreal. <laughs> oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Oh, I'm happy. Mate, you've just won $5,000 with a gift from Wilson. So the Venom Rods, the um, ATC reels, there's a whole stack of stuff from uh, mustard that's gonna come your way, Zeric lures, man, that is an awesome price pack. Plus, you got two grand to spend at addicttackle.com.au on whatever you wanna buy. $7,000 worth of fishing gear. Beautiful, that's unreal, Sounds thank you. Happy? I'm so happy, that's unreal. I'm sure he's even happier inside, folks. We might get these fish on ice, or back in the water either way. I think, I think, because he's the winning fish, he's got to go back, don't you reckon? Yeah. yeah. He's a lucky one. He is a lucky one. What a beautiful fish on the Kavala. Well done. Woo! So nice. Congratulations, mate. Thank you, Bergie. Have a few drinks tonight to celebrate, eh? <laughs> yes. That hit hard, eh? We made our way back to Big Cat for lunch. A few of the Wilson boys and crew congratulated Ken on winning the Fishing Addiction Challenge. And while we were having a breather, the crew didn't waste any opportunity to land some hefty GT straight off the back of the mothership. Nice fish, boys. Thanks, bro. Oh, yeah. There's a real big bummy in there. Come out here. Start to place in the sand. We've just come in to check out this sand cake. Another little sand cake. Whoa! And we've come across, of all things, oh my gosh, a little school of rainbow runners. Now, they kind of look a bit like a, a kingfish, I guess. You can see them in the water there, he really does, with his big yellow tail. They have a lovely blue line along them. And they fight really hard. 
the smaller rainbow runners are actually a prime bait for big GT. So if you see a school of rainbow runners getting harassed, it's normally big GTs that are doing it. But on the light gear, oh, and there goes Kenny. These things are awesome. It's got something. Come here, buddy. And they're everywhere, and there are lots of fun to catch. I'm just gonna lift this guy straight into the boat. Get the hooks out. Oh, that's a good fish. There's nothing wrong with that. These rainbow runners are an amazing looking fish. Now it's Dicko's turn to try and wrestle something a bit bigger. Oh, oh yeah. big Spanish. Big Spanish. Oh, <laughs> that is a mackerel. <laughs> did you get that? Yes, Deco, he did, and what an incredible shot it is. There's at least 20 kilos of flying Spanish mackerel, but unfortunately, it didn't stay connected. Oh, oh look at it's, it. it's on now. Look oh at it. Oh my gosh. Holy dooly. <laughs> Oh! Oh, big GT! Did he eat it? Oh! That was just... Oh, yeah! Oh, me! <laughs> yep. Gonna keep cruising us out. <laughs> oh. We're starting to hit the drop-off now. Jeez, you should see the fish on the drop-off, the bait. In 19 metres, we want to keep going though, eh? It's a big fish. That's awesome, huh? What I love is the whole, everyone works as a team to make it happen, you know? <laughs> the first strike, he just missed it totally, but he just comes straight out of the water. Absolute gold. <laughs> oh, oh. That was a big fish. Oh, that was a Why? Why did that pop? Oh, oh, here we go. Everyone hold on, please. Oh, it's a bluefin. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Bluefin. Beautiful bluefin. I'm just going to lift him in. It's not that big. Here we go. Oh, yes. What a beautiful fish. Goodness me. I'm going to get the hooks out straight away. Oh, what a beauty, mate. Yeah. Gorgeous fish. All those spots all over him and those amazing blue tips. Just sensational. The blue fin trevally. And they fight just Unreal. like all the other big trevally. Such a pretty fish. Absolutely gorgeous. So glad you got to meet one. You've not caught one before, have you? Nah. That's yes, uh, awesome. Yeah. I don't, well, it's having a go. Yeah, might need to go. <laughs> oh, it's having a big. That's a small. It's a little bit bigger than what I was expecting up here. Macro man. Nah, it's a GT. I'm pretty sure. Oh, what a great fight. Oh, it's gone under. It's gone under. Come back. Good. Good, good little Jay. Good source, Jay. That's fun. To be hooking fish like that in shallow water, that's crazy. That's crazy. On the light gear. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Oh, ho, ho. It's a nugget. Yeah, that's a cool flats fish, that one. Woo wow, I'm right. <laughs> you don't 
well, I guess we've come to expect to see things like this happen in the flats. It's just, there's so much bait, there's so much of a concentration of pelagic fish eating the bait. Anything can show up at any time. Let's get the hooks out, get it back in. After releasing that awesome GT, we drifted off into some deeper water to see what we could catch on the fish traps. Oh, I've got one too. What's going on there? Oh, I think I might have your line. Something just happened. Oh, oh, I just got eaten on the way up. Oh dear. Oh dear. What is this? <laughs> No. Diamond. Yeah, diamonds. Oh, what a sick fish. Yeah. Well done, That's man. Sweet. That is a cool fish. They go friggin' hard. They do, absolutely. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hang on, don't yeah. worry about that. <laughs> Yeah, I've got one too. Oh, what a cool looking fish. Nice fish, man. I got one too. Yes. Thanks, Dicko. Oh, they are cool Diamond fish. Valley. Diamonds. Diamonds are a boy's best friend. Look at that. On the light gear. Little fish traps. Good job. What a beautiful fish. I don't know if you can really see the colours there, folks, but just beautiful, beautiful fish. That's so cool, hey? So good. Let's get the lures out and get them back in. Oh, that is a cool fish. Hooks are out. He's good to go. What a magnificent fish on light gear too. So much fun. All right, let's pop him over the side here. I have to swim in for a second. He should swim away strong. Come on, buddy. Come on, mate. Back up. Yep. Well, it's another beautiful morning on the reef and uh, we're, the tide's pushing up so the fishing hasn't been great on the running tide. We've just come to this reef though that we've not been to before. There's a little bit of a, a ripple along the water here, a little bit of current. First few casts, but a bing, but a boom, we've been smashed on the surface. So. When we thought it was going to be a quiet morning and first few casts, we're into fish. That's a hefty fish you got there, mate. Man, she's just slugging it out. Doesn't say much, this bloke. He's having a good time, I reckon. <laughs> oh, good. <coughs> That's the fish. Holy smokes. I think it's better than what we all think. Yeah. Oh, nice one. Oh, good lord. That's a big GT, brother. <coughs> All right, I'm going to try and lift him in because free fall. In your hand. One, two, three. Oh. Oh, what a slab. Oh. Dicko. That's very cool, mate. Is that respectable? Oh, I reckon that's respectable. <laughs> that is very respectable. I don't think you look respectable. What's wrong? Oh. <laughs> mate, <laughs> what is going on with that? Look at that thing! Oh, he's a donkey. He's letting you know about it too. It's all right, mate. We're going to let you go, pal. Rop, rop, rop. It's GT fishing caper. It's so much fun. Yes, beautiful Hang big on. big dog. All right, mate, send him home. See you, big fella. And away he goes. Yes, I <laughs> get you stretched, mate. Uh. Fishing on the Great Barrier Reef is always an incredible experience, and having the freedom to explore with Big Cat Reality just highlighted how magic this place truly is. 
Ken, you have certainly made the most of this incredible adventure and congratulations again for winning the Zerik Lure Challenge. They're all good lures across the board and I enjoyed learning um, the new techniques to, to work them and um, in the right time and spot, location sort of stuff. Uh, but yeah, won the challenge, finished it off with a sweet uh, fish on the flats, which was unreal. Um, I don't know even where I'm going to start with what I'm going to do with like what rods or reels or what I'm going to do with the prize. I think that's just awesome. But to me, honestly, I've won already. Um, this trip's been amazing. Um, and I thank my wife for it as well. Yeah, she's just an amazing woman. And um, I love you, darling. <laughs> oh, I miss her, eh? It's good. Well, that's it from us guys. What an incredible week it's been here on the Great Barrier Reef with Big Cat Reality. Check them out, bigcatreality.com. Great bunch of guys, a really good charter. And of course, special thanks to Wilson Australia, the Australian fishing company. Without them, fishing addiction would not be possible and they make dreams come true for our members. And of course, Ken, he won the fishing addiction challenge. How cool is that? All that fishing gear is coming to him real soon, and I'm sure this is one adventure he's never going to forget. Now, if you want to give yourself the chance to come on the show, just like Ken, you've got to be a member. Go to fishingaddiction.com.au and sign up, and you never know, I might come knocking on your door. Until next time, I'm Mark Berg. You stay safe, and God bless.